Good morning, YouTube. How are you this morning? I am not too bad. I am not too bad at all. It's a little muggy, but it's not hot. It's muggy enough. My sunglasses are fogging up. Uh, it is 10 a.m. Central Time, and I am in Conroe, Texas, at Bison Building Materials. That's off of I-45, just north of 242, Texas 242. Um, last we talked, I was uh, up there in Broken Bow at Huber, getting ready to head out. Um, let's see. I left there and then headed down and stopped in uh, Mount Vernon. I never could get all these mounts right when I'm thinking about truck stops. Stopped at the Loves, got some... Uh, Got a snack and bought uh, 50 gallons of fuel. Just enough to get me out of the red. And then headed on down. I got to uh, the Huntsville Pilot um, last night at 10.15 uh, with two minutes left on my 14-hour clock. Parked in a reserved parking space I had ordered on my way down. Because uh, it looked like all three truck stops were full from Trucker Path. And sure enough, all three of them were. And then uh, cleaned up, got something to eat there at the Wendy's, which I'm not too fond of. Because that Wendy's, they're always really slow. I think I was in there 25 minutes waiting. I'm basing my order and getting my food. Ridiculous. Fast food, my ass. Um, after that, I went to bed. Got up this morning at 8, bought fuel. Uh, when my clock turned over at uh, 8.20, and then headed on down here. I got here at uh, 9.25, and uh, not a bad little jaunt down here. Checked in, came over here and parked on the side of the entrance, pulled my tarps off, got my straps off. There's another trucker here that was here just before me, another driver, I should say, I wouldn't call him a trucker. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, pulled my tarps off, got my straps, put it, get everything put away, and now I'm waiting for them to come get me to unload. Um, the other guy that was here, I call him a driver because I'm sure he's pulling a flatbed. Not very professional. I come up and pull it up. And of course, I get out and put my safety vest on and my hard hat on and all that good stuff. And uh, go inside and check in and come back to start doing my stuff. And he's walking around in a wife beater with a uh, do rag on his head and one of those pair of Bluetooth headsets, the old style, um, basketball shorts, and flip-flops out there doing his thing, untarping, unsecuring, you know, talking on the telephone and jibber-jabbering away. Not very professional in my opinion, that's why I call him a driver. You know, y'all may not notice, well, maybe y'all do, but I pretty much always dress relatively the same. I'm always wearing jeans. I'm always wearing steel toe boots, shirt. When I'm out there working on my trailer, I'd say 99% of the time I'm wearing my hard hat and vest. Sometimes I skimp on it. I admit it. I shouldn't. But I'm always wearing glasses at the very minimum, especially with dealing with bungees. But to be a truck driver in this industry, to be a real trucker, you need to you don't need a trucker's hat. It helps, but you don't need one. But you need to be professional. And that's one thing I like about this company. In general, Maverick drivers are professional. We got some bad ones that don't do their job either. Just recently, I heard a story about a guy, you know, who uh, wasn't wearing his safety gear and uh, got hurt because he wasn't wearing the safety gear wasn't dressed properly for the shipper or receiver or whatever it was. Don't like that. I used to talk about that a lot when I was teaching over at the, over at North Little Rock. Man, that's been a long time. It's been a year. God, it didn't seem like that. Well, uh, when I'm done here, I'm going to the Port of Houston, picking up some skidded coals. At least that's what they're supposed to be. Taking those up to the Campbell Soup Plant in Paris. So, you know, I don't think I'll make it there tonight just simply because the port takes so long but if I get out of the port by say 
4 p.m., I should make it or get pretty damn close. I'd like to be able to get it there and deliver it tonight. We'll see what happens. Good afternoon, YouTube. How are you this afternoon? My loathing of the ports increases by the moment. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty good though I'm soaking wet. And not just because of sweat, because of rain too. Uh, it is 3.05 p.m. Central Time and I am at the Port of Houston at Cooper Ports America. Um, last we talked, I was at Conroe. Getting done there, or waiting to get done there. Um, got in. They finally came and got me, I guess maybe 15 minutes later. And then it took them about 10 minutes to get that stuff off. And I was gone. Um, I got here a little after 11. And then uh, spent 15 minutes at the truck's office trying to get my first bills for my first, my pickup information for my at the first check-in then I went to the second check-in got there at 11 30 big sign says lunch 12 to 1 cool there's people in line waiting there's one guy in front of me so I'm standing I got my bills in my hand sticks his gives, gives a guy from me back his bills looks at me and closes the freaking window and the and the hung the little out the lunch sign I looked at my watch and it was 11 40. I just stared at him. I mean, I stared his ass down as he came out the little booth and was walking away. Like, eh. He's like, ha, 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 ha. I fucked another truck driver. Ha, ha, ha. Because that's exactly the look he had on his face. Excuse my French. So, I got gagged by a truck, ate my lunch, went back and sat there at 1230. And then another guy walked up and then... <clears throat> About 12, 15, he comes mosey on back. And then pulled the guy that was behind me out of line and did him first. I don't get that. I don't get it. I'm not going to call it racism. But I'm thinking it. That's enough to say for that. Well, once he finally decided to get around to me... I got my paperwork and that was at uh, 1.30 and then I had to go check into the third stop and I got over there and the uh, little girl that works over there or young woman or whatever wasn't there as usual. I had seen her while I was standing in line to get my paperwork but she had driven off which is pretty typical. So I sat there for about another 30 minutes or so and she finally came back tell me where to go of course I already knew it's the exact same thing went down there parked and just as I was getting there one of the senior supervisors came by while I was talking to him and he uh I told him about my problem before lunch he's like he apologized to me but he said he would talk to that guy about leaving early for lunch and then coming back late it was a known issue So, they uh, finally got me loaded at uh, 2.15, and um, it started to rain while they were loading me. I mean, not just a little sprinkle. We're talking torrential freaking downpour. So, I had to secure and prep my tarps inside. And just as I finished up, I, they told me once I had the tarps over, the, over, I had to pull out and finish outside. So, I did that, and now I'm getting ready to leave. Um, it took me 38 minutes to secure and tarp. That's not too bad. But then again, it's canvas and steel tarps as opposed to eight foot drops and gigantic loads. So I'm getting ready to leave here. I'm heading to uh, Campbell's in Paris. And then uh, I will uh, I will make it today. I got seven hours and 12 minutes unless something happens between here and there. I should make it today, get rid of it today. I'll stay at that Love's. And then I've already got a load for tomorrow. I gotta go to uh, Huber again. I pick up a load, taking it to Dallas. Um, so I have a feeling that uh, that's gonna be the last load for the week. Three, three loads. That's all. One, two, yeah, three loads for the week. Four loads, something like that. Because, like I said, I'm off on Friday and I need to be home on Thursday. So that's gonna be it for right now. 
Um, I'll let y'all know later how it goes when I get to Paris, or how it went when I went to, got to Paris. Good evening, YouTube. Or should I say good night? How are you this evening? Uh, I'm tired and a bit frustrated, but I, I guess that's all right. Um, it is 11 p.m. Central Time, and I'm in Paris, Texas, at the Old Shell Truck Stop. Uh, when last we talked, I was loaded at the port and headed up this way. Um, got here no problem. You know, did my load checks, blah, blah, blah. Got something to eat on the way up. Um, I got to, uh, Campbell's Soup, a little can company back there, at, uh, I think it was 9.30, 9.25, 9.30, something like that. Pulled around, there was a Maverick leaving, so I, just as I was, I swung around, pulled up, and grabbed my bills, and walked inside, and the receiver wasn't there. So I put it on his desk, and he'll be right back. Went out there, I did my tarps, put them all away, got all my securements put away, back the truck up into the spot like we're supposed to. Because that's basically what you do. You get there, you take everything off unless it's raining, and then you back into the spot. If it's raining, then you back in the spot and do your damnedest to get it off because the your, your, when you back up, there's a dock right here that you're backing up against the side. So you'll have access to anything on the driver's side of, of the truck. Um... Got it all done, got back in, walked inside, went and looking for him. It took me like 25 minutes to put, it, to put everything away, and he wasn't there. And I stood there and waited and waited and waited. And that place is really, really loud, even with earplugs in. Super, super loud, you know. And uh, when it's running, it was running tonight, I liked the other day when we were here. And I saw I waited, I said, well, I'm going to go sit in the truck and wait. So I went back to the truck, I did a few things, and went back in there at uh, 1030 and uh, um, the guy that I've, that I've that's unloaded me before started walking up. And I was like, he's like, I was like hey. And I waited for him. He came up and signed my bills and asked me how long I've been waiting. I said, about an hour and a half. And he's like, they didn't unload you? And I said, no. He said, and he apparently the guy that worked, that's the receiver up to 10 p.m. left early. Apparently. As soon as that Maverick, he finished with that Maverick. Because it only takes five minutes to unload and then for them to unload you. That was really kind of frustrating. So I sat there till almost 11. Actually, 10.15 was the end of my 14. So I ended up running over my 14, 30 minutes or so. And then I had to drive out. And I went to the Loves, which is literally at their entrance. And it's packed. Plenty of people illegally parked. I could have found, I could have parked there illegally. But I don't do that. So I came down in here about two blocks of the old, the old, uh, Exxon Shell, Exxon, old oh, Shell truck stop, excuse me. This is where everybody used to park, and it's freaking practically empty. Um, and uh, of course, I wasn't here five minutes before the local personal entertainment <laughs> came by knocking on the door, wanting to know if I needed company for the evening. No, thank you. Ugh. Scary looking. It was dark, and it was scary looking. I hate to know what it looked like in the light. Well, that's either that, either that or there. Well, so I'm parked. I called in, told them I ran over. Of course, they would have figured it out anyway. But uh, so stuck here tomorrow till uh, well, we'll just say 9 a.m. And I gotta drive up to uh, Huber and Broken Bow and get loaded, and and I'm taking that to um, a place I've never been to in Dallas, over off of. Uh, Beckley in Illinois and South Central Dallas, some little lumber company. Davis, some main or something like that. I don't, I, I don't remember the name of it. Pays well. That's the good thing about it. Um, and I can, if I can get there by 4.30 tomorrow, by 4 o'clock tomorrow, um, I can deliver it. Well, it's um, roughly a three and a half hour drive from Broken Bow to there. If I can get up there, get loaded quick and get out. I might be able to get rid of it tomorrow and then have all day Thursday and Friday off. Otherwise, I'll have to go down there, park. I'll go home for the night, get up in the morning, and go deliver it. I guess we'll talk about that tomorrow. We'll figure out what happens. Um, 
So that's pretty much it. I'm going to clean up a little bit and I'm going to crawl into bed because I am dead, dead tired. It's been a, been a long day. So until tomorrow when I load at Huber in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Keep the shiny side up, 73s. Be safe.